welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Lululemon haul, but a little bit different than my other ones. I am 38 and a half weeks pregnant and doing a Lululemon bikini haul because you guys asked me to and I love you and I always like reviewing these and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I just got done trying everything on. They all fit. I don't love one of them, but the other two I was like very pleasantly surprised. I've been holding on to these items. I've actually had these items for a couple weeks now and I was just so hesitant to try them on because I'm like obviously these aren't maternity bikinis and I just was not confident that they were going to fit or be comfortable and I decided to rip the band-aid off and try them on today and pleasantly surprised. So without further ado, we're going to get right on into it. This video is not sponsored. I purchased all of these myself and yeah, we're just going to get right on into it and I'll give you all my thoughts on this year's Lululemon swim collection. Clearly, this is also a much more casual chill video than the other one, at least. Well, I, that's how it feels to me because I don't have like my desk and like this all this proper lighting. We're just gonna kind of go through the few bikinis I have. So the first one I got is the Smocked Swim Top AB Cup and it's the Hyper Stripe Pastel Blue. I love the Lululemon Pastel Blue right now. It's gorgeous. I did get all of these bikinis in a size six. So the top I absolutely love. I love the bottom too, but since we're starting with the top, you can kind of see close up. It has that nice smocked material to it. These are way stretchier than I thought they were going to be. Last year, I loved their seersucker bikinis. I thought those were really cute. That fabric was really nice. If you've watched any of my other bikini hauls before, you've heard me say, if it's going to be a fun color, I like when there's some texture to it so it doesn't show everything you have going on. If you know what I mean, upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> so I love the fact that they have the smocked material. It kind of replaced that seersucker look. And I liked the cut of this. I think it's so simple. It honestly kind of looks like just a very basic sports bra. That is my favorite kind of bikini. So I was very excited to try this. This is probably, I don't know if I like this or the black, probably this just because the color, it's different and I love it. So this is probably my favorite bikini. I got the matching bottoms and the style I chose is the smocked mid-rise skimpy fit swim bottom in the same hyper stripe pastel blue. Once again in a size six, absolutely love these. The nice thing about Lululemon swimwear, and I said this last year too, even their like skimpy fit or cheeky fit still offers more coverage than a lot of other brands right now. And their quality, they fit great. Once again, they have that texture to them. So it's not like you can see the outline of everything getting in and out of the pool. I know I'm not alone with that. For their skimpy fit, you can see the back is bigger than the front. So you know you're gonna have a little bit more coverage. Um, this is actually my preferred coverage. I feel like these are really flattering. Um, it's not necessarily like that granny panty look, but it's also not like your whole bum is hanging out. So I love these. They also have a little bit of a higher hip cut to them, but nothing crazy where it like digs in on you or anything or falls at a weird spot. I feel like these are really flattering on a lot of body types, super stretchy. They're not cutting in on me at all. I want to emphasize that. I'm still buying my size six, which is like what I would normally get in bikinis from there. If you want to look at my haul from last year to see a six on me prior to being pregnant versus a six on me literally at the end of pregnancy, um, you can do that. Maybe I'll try to do a side by side if I can, but the six is still fit. So that just goes to show how stretchy they are. These aren't uncomfortable. It didn't dig in. Next bikini up, sticking with that same material, we have the smocked swim top BC cup. So this is gonna provide obviously more support. There's more coverage, there's built-in padding, which the other one had as well. This is the Hyper Stripe White True Navy. Once again, in that size six, and this one you can definitely tell just by looking at it, it offers more support and coverage. Obviously it's intended for B to C cup rather than A to B cup. The straps are a little bit thicker. The coverage in the front is bigger. And then the one thing I didn't mention about the other top there once again is pads included in there and they're optional so you can take them out if you don't like pads i personally love padding in bikinis just because i feel like helps round everything out a little bit and you don't nip out of anything so i personally love that this one's really nice though because it kind of has the same feature as like the align tank and other tops like that where it has the band for the padding in there so it is more supportive and then this lays over top so it falls like seamlessly 
and looks really nice. So the size six fit, definitely a little bit more compressive, obviously, because it's providing you more support. Although I think this is really cute and fits really well, this isn't my personal favorite, just because it's a little bit wider than I like. And I know definitely after pregnancy, I don't think I would like it going down a little bit further like it does. I prefer the other top. Um, but if you're bustier and you like a little bit more coverage and just like kind of this look, I think you'd really like this. Definitely fits true to size. Once again, my chest has grown significantly since being pregnant. So I actually have a greater appreciation for the support in this bikini. Um, I definitely wouldn't have needed any kind of support pre-pregnancy. This fits really well and you do feel really like supported and held in, which is nice. And then the bottoms I got to match also kind of stick with the theme of like more coverage, more support. The smocked swim bottom high-waisted medium bum coverage in that same hyper stripe white true navy. Once again in a size six. So you have more coverage in the back. Obviously you can see just by looking at the front versus the back, there's way more material in the back. So I love the fact that they offer options because I know we all have different preferences. We all have different body types. It's nice to be able to kind of like pick and choose what you you personally like. So although once again, I'm not a fan of high-waisted bottoms just because I feel like the tan line looks really silly and I am just more comfortable in lower rise bikinis. When it comes to leggings and shorts, I want them all to be high rise. However, when it comes to bikinis, I like the low rise more. Um, but if you're someone who likes high rise, theirs are really nice. They didn't dig in at all. These are the only bottom, which this was actually the, out of the whole try on, this was the only item I was nervous really would not fit me. High rise bikini bottoms and just like even looser shorts just don't fit me right now because obviously like unless they're maternity, they're cutting in. They're not meant to stretch over a big 38 week belly. Um, but these actually didn't cut in. The only thing that I think looked really silly, they didn't go up above my belly button. So you could see my just like pregnant stretched out belly button poking out. <laughs> I thought it looked silly, um, but they were really comfortable. They definitely have a nice amount of coverage in the back. And then normally I think this high waistband would be great. They're not meant for maternity. So I didn't expect them to work once again, but I was actually shocked that they didn't cut in, which just tells me they would be so comfortable on my non-pregnant body. Um, I tried the Searsucker high-waisted bottoms last year, loved those, very cute. Um, once again, I just personally don't like high-waisted bikini bottoms, but very soft, very stretchy, true to size, very comfortable. Last but definitely not least, this was my second favorite to bikini. I got a black top with two different style bottoms to try for you guys because this is a more like typical swim material than the other one. It's not that smocked material. This is the Waterside Square Neck Swim Top BC Cup in black. Once again, in that size six. This one's different because it actually has a true clasp on the back. So it's not like you're having to stretch it over. I actually did put it on without having to unclasp that, which I really enjoyed because it's just easier that way, I think. <laughs> um, but if you're someone who likes to have that adjustable clasp in the back, this one has that. There's three different spots. Because it's a BC support, um, you can see the band's actually a little bit thicker. The straps are wider for like a spaghetti strap and they're adjustable. Always appreciate an adjustable strap like that because once again, we all have different bodies and chests and everything. So I think it's nice to be able to adjust them. Same thing. They have the removable padding in there. I loved this top. Once again, I'm a little bit bustier right now, a lot a bit bustier right now. And I actually really liked the BC support, but this is more of the coverage I prefer. I thought this was super comfortable, very flattering. I did get the same skimpy bottoms and just the black to pair with them. So these are their lower coverage bottom. I love these. Once again, these are my favorite ones they have. They were my favorite ones from last year. I thought that these two styles paired really well together. Um, I got my size six in these. This is just that straight, like what you would expect out of a swim material, that like silky black material, um, or that silky, <laughs> silky fabric in the color black. Um, Really the only time I like a very simple material like this is if it is a dark color once again So you're not showing like the outline of everything. So yeah loved these I already knew I was gonna love those but because I know once again, we all have different preferences I also wanted to try the medium rise and medium coverage bottom So these are the waterside mid-rise swim bottom and medium bum coverage 
Once again, color black. They are the same material as the square neck top and still that size six. So these fit really well. You can tell they offer once again, more coverage in the back, kind of like the high-waisted bottoms, but this is the middle option between the skimpy fit and the high-waisted. So you have a little bit of a thicker waistband on the side, but once again, it's just mid-rise. It's not that full high-rise. So I actually liked these a lot. These worked really well with belly. <laughs> um, they still sat underneath it, so it wasn't like stretching up above. Yeah, I thought these were super comfortable. So those are my thoughts on the Lululemon swimwear pieces this year. I didn't try a one piece for obvious reasons. I just knew it wasn't gonna fit. Now after trying these on, I'm like, who knows? Maybe it actually would have stretched over, but it probably would have looked really silly. Um, let me know below if you're pregnant or if you tried a one piece from them pregnant before. I'd be curious to know how they do fit. Once again, none of these are maternity items, so I didn't expect them to be perfect. However, I am blown away that I actually loved them and that they didn't cut in on me. The pastel blue one was by far my favorite. Then the black one and then the white and true navy I think is really fun. I love the color, but the style I got in that one isn't my personal favorite, but if you're someone who likes more coverage and high-waisted bottoms, it was very, very comfortable. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> I kept going back and forth. I'm like, do I record it with the belly? Do I try to do it like right after I deliver? And I'm like, no, I need to get a lot of these things, like all this work off my plate beforehand. So hopefully I can enjoy a little bit of not like full-blown maternity leave because I own my own business and that's not really realistic, but try to spend as much quality time with baby girl as I can in the beginning and hopefully not have to stress about doing try-ons and stuff, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. I have lots of vlogs coming. I am gonna vlog our like labor and delivery experience. I don't know when I will get that video up. Um, obviously, I don't even know when she's going to arrive. So, <laughs> we shall see. I will see you in the next video, whether that's a vlog or maybe it is the labor and delivery video, who knows? The waiting game right now is making me uh, anxious. <laughs>